hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you how to make this twisted diagonal gatefold card um it's a really beautiful little card and the measurements that i'm going to give you are to allow it to fit inside of an a5c5 envelope okay so you wouldn't get it in like that but if you just turn it around to be that way then it fits in lovely okay so the measurements i've done will do that you can't use full size a4 right and half by 11 but the great thing is that you can use your a4 you can use right and half by 11 and your 12 by 12 some 14 by 9s all of those cards you can cut them down to make this size card so it's a really cool one to do um, I'm also going to show you how to put the bow on and how to do these mats in layers so that they work with the pattern being in the right way and they are easy to do but I'm just going to show you what it's like on the inside so when you open it up you've got this lovely gorgeous inside as well and I'm going to show you how to make all of the layers okay now it's one sheet of double-sided paper believe it or not and one piece of card for the background so there's not much material in this um, you can use your dies I've used some dies there and then I've just put flowers on the front and I think I said I'm going to show you but I am going to show you how to do the ribbon um, and also like get the pattern in the right direction so on mine I do have the words postcard here and there so I wanted to make sure that the top of my card is going to be where it says postcard so you need to get the pattern going in the right way with your papers and I'm going to show you how to do that as well when it stands it, you just plop it down and it just stands up nicely it just rests on this point here and then all of that and that's enough to hold it in place so the recipient can have that on their shelf really nice so let's get started and show you how to do it um, again I'd like to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed like commented or even shared my videos etc I really do appreciate it it's really helped my channel grow and I'm happy to continue teaching you so my channel is all about the know-how so when we do score lines what happens is you can't see them so I'm going to enhance them with a pen as I do them so you want a nine inch piece of card this is your base card so the color that you want be white black brown anything by seven and a half so it's nine inches this way and seven and a half that way and then what you're going to do is just score it at three and six so just into thirds okay that's what i always work out the math so that these work nice i mean i could have possibly got a little bit more to fit inside of the a5 envelope but oh my i can't be doing with the eighths and sixteenths and all that i've only just started doing inch tutorials because i used to work in centimeters all the time but the majority of my poll said they prefer inches so that's what i'm doing now if you just use a so if you score it the way i score it then the mats and layers will work the way i'm doing them so you've got the center point here for the first score and what you need to do is get that in line on here so we're just going to put our scoring tool in on that one there and then we're going to swivel this around or you can just automatically set them up you can use a pencil and a ruler and rub it out and use scissors uh, not scissors a ruler to fold it against now the only thing you need to know is where this score line goes here you don't want that to go into that score line because it's going to be a, a sharp point just bring it away a little bit okay so it's got room to have its own place so there's like two score lines together up there there are let's see if you can see that there are two score lines in there so if they were if they were going over each other they'd be fighting for the place i'm just doing this again so i can get a pen line on it because i forgot i moved it first there we go so it goes all the way down to the bottom and you do exactly the same way so if you've gone that way then make sure you go this way on this one but like i say i'm showing you how to do it this way so again make sure this one is not right in that line just over a little bit and the point is right in the line you want the point to be right in the line but you don't want that score line to be in there okay so it looks about right from where i'm sitting so let's hope it is let's go down there and then just take a pen run it through so you can see what we've got so we've basically got that shape all right now it's important the way you score these as well make sure that you do these scores first so coming in fold it in each end and burnish it right really important because again that point to get that point to be nice and crisp make sure that you burnish these first make sure these edges are not off like that make sure they're lined up and burnish again and then we're going to fold these out 
and then what you'll see is where that point is it'll fold nicely now if they were in the same channel they'd be fighting and this could get all sort of like screwed up etc so you need to make sure that you hold that point in and i know i'm getting smudgy lines we're going to go over to another bit of card in a minute that i've already folded like that so you've literally just gone in and out in and out and then when they come together hey presto that's your card okay so let's get on and do the inside bits now what is really cool like i said is just one sheet of 11 by seven and a quarter will make you all four panels and if you use double-sided card i'm going to show you how to switch it around um, and make the scores the right way okay so we're going to have one this way because we've got these little flowers they're doing this we want to make sure the cards up that way and then on the other one it's not really that important more are going that way i guess so we'll try and keep it the same way as well so you just need four that's seven and a quarter in height so you can cut one whole sheet of seven and a quarter by eleven and then cut them down into two three two and three quarter sections okay so it'd be two and three quarter five and a half eight and a quarter and eleven or we'll just move it along in two and three quarters so I'm going to bring in a white bit of card that's not got black lines all over it so we don't ruin that and then the best thing to do right one of these is going to go inside and then you can put a um what do you call it <laughs> a, another mat over the top if you want so you decide if you want that pattern or that one I think that one will probably be nicer and then you put another white panel inside which I haven't cut down but it is going to be um, this was what's two and three quarters by seven and a quarter so just go another quarter of an inch two and a half by seven and then you'll have that little mat in there on the inside so if we pop that one in like that and I'll probably use this one on the front as well so when it's closed I'll probably use that one here and then when it opens we can have the different pattern showing here okay and in that section there so what you need to do now is if we're going to do the front one next turn your card over and we decided we're going to have this and have a look at it so you'll see that the card's opening up there and going down to there so you need to make that score from top right to bottom left cut not score cut i'll say that so let's do that so i'm going to bring in a trimmer and use it you can use a pencil and ruler and draw a line and cut it that's fine but i'm just going to use my trimmer because it's quick so top right has to go in the channel bottom left into the channel like that okay so just make sure that they are in there point to point and then just take your cutter and cut up through and what you'll see is keep them as they are they'll fit nicely onto there now my tip is do it straight away okay and remember to turn over so you've got your pattern on the pattern you don't want you put your glue on Okay, now if you do go wrong don't worry because this pattern can be used in another section so don't worry about throwing it away if you don't want it on this particular card use it on another now what i'm doing is just making sure that i've got a nice even border at both sides i'm not that worried about the point because the point goes off a little bit like you can't help it with folding and cutting it go off a bit but it won't notice okay it's better to add these are what's going to show when you've got other paper down there and then again just pop this one on glue that one in like this pop that one on there so this was i did put this pattern up the same way on all of the sections but it's a little bit insignificant isn't it but what is nice is when it's closed because you've cut it from one sheet all the little bits sort of like go over they're out of line a little but that's okay because of the shape just make sure you've got that how you want it and slide that down a little bit more and there you go so now we're going to sort out these so the easiest way to sort out these is make sure you've got your paper the right way up like i said we're going to concentrate on these little flowers here because they're going upwards and that's how i want them to stay so if you do that to your card so it was like that just fold these in like this and then you can do a visual over the top and you'll know that that line is going here now okay so you need to cut from the other side so you need to cut top left to bottom right so while you're thinking of that pop it on there top left to bottom right just line them up hold it in place 
enjoy your cutter through. Like I say, let's get these on straight away so we can see that they're up the right way. That's exactly how we wanted them. So let's put this one in. Remember to turn your card over. I've done it before. I haven't. <laughs> funny isn't it? you always do these things you're concentrating so hard you forget what you're doing so we we'll put this one on here like this just trying to get that border this glue's drying very quick because it's a bit warm in it it's not a bad thing I like glue that dries fast I've oh, moved it haven't I go over there we go that's a good thing about weight glue you can maneuver it and then this one is going to go on the other side. Remember to turn your paper over. <laughs> Think about what bit you're working on. Open that up. Pop that down. You'd obviously spend more time getting your glue a lot nicer. Then just pop that one in there. We open it up and you can see it's coming together lovely. Because the card does stand like that. So it's nice to have them that way. But obviously, we're going to pop it in the envelope on a wonk and we're going to have ribbon on a wonk because I think it looks really cool. So now with this one again, you're going to have to visualise this one, okay? So if you just take it over to here, the score line's going that way. So again, we're back to top right, bottom left. Okay, so we need to cut that top right to bottom left. We need the cut to go through that way. So top right, bottom left. It's not worth writing this down because you know your pattern, you might move your pattern around or whatever when you've cut your panels out. So just do each one individually, treat them as their own little thing. There we go. And they're cut out. This one goes on here, so they reverse. So the pattern doesn't match up on these because it's the inside ones they're not together anyway and I'll just show you if you did cut it wrong like and you wanted it to be going oh goodness me onto the front you can see that you're not going to be able to do it because it's going to end up upside down and things like that so it's important that you um, do it around the right way look at me doing it upside down I just said upside down and put it on upside down. <laughs> there we go, pop that in. Make it nice. As good as you can get it, don't worry too much. There we go, so they're around the right way. And then this one is too. They do have a right and a wrong way. You don't want to put them upside down is what I was trying to get at. Because they have switched. Because this was here and it's going here. So because you can't line that up, you need to visually see that. There we go. Okay, so rub that down. And then you've got your gorgeous card. And now it's just a question of decorating it. Now I'm going to show you just how to add the ribbon because it's really easy. Now what you need to do is get a bit of tape. I always use tape with ribbon. Probably a little bit thick for the size of the ribbon I've got to be on this, but I'll go with it because it's all I've got. Now what you need to do is turn it over and put this point to point. So you, you've got it point to point like that, and your rib, your tape I might just tear off enough. You don't have, it doesn't have to go all the way to the end. Rip off a bit, and while you can visually see where those points are, so we've got a point there and a point there. Just aim them across at each other. Okay. Then pop that down, remove the tape, take a length of ribbon, fold it in half, find the centre point, and then put that roughly in the centre there, and into that point there. Just make sure you can lift it up if you go a bit wrong. So that is not going to show, and that's all you need to do, and then you just turn it over tie your ribbon however you like to tie your bows it's up to you I usually just do it and then faff around and get it right so I just tie it and then I 
pull it tight and it's going to be like that don't forget because it's going in the envelope like that so my card is upside down so I need to have that away so I just pull the towel down there give it a little bit of ma manipulation like that pull it tighter like that and then you just cut the ends off whatever length you want them and then decorate whatever you want to do sentiments flowers butterflies anything like that so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you again with another one really soon thanks for watching bye